G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my 50 cent collection book, here already partly filled with the commemoratives that we've found so far in this hunt. And as we go through, I'll mainly be looking through the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins. The book still has a few gaps in it, because we've only been going on it for a couple of weeks. Uh, there's a lot of Centenary of Federations that needed to be completed, and some of the more rare, and some of the older ones. So, let's put the book aside, and grab a roll. This is a roll of 50 cent pieces. We've got plain rolls today. Been trying to mix it up with the different kinds. We've got Prosiga and we've got Armour Guard. I believe the clear ones or the ones with a plain paper are uh, Armour Guard, but we'll see how, how they go. And so we'll crack in. The standard type of 50 cent piece in Australia is the coat of arms. This is a coat of arms. This one happens to be from. 2021 so we'll put that aside because that's this year and we don't know the mintage of, the, of those yet so we'll keep them until we know what the mintages are like and if they if the mintages are low we will keep them and if they're very high we'll throw them back in and start all over again now this is a 2001 cent, uh, centenary federation but it's the commonwealth coat of arms so it's a highly minted coin very common so we put it up the top here is a 1995 coin, Weary Dunlop, 1995, 50th anniversary of the end of World War II. And then we have a 1977 Silver Jubilee coin. Silver Jubilee in 77 was 25 years of Queen Elizabeth's reign this year and just this couple of weekends ago in UK, they celebrated her 70th year, and they've got out uh, Diamond Jubilee coins. So we might see something here, we might not. Here we have a 2005 coin. This is the secondary student competition winner for the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games design. Very common coin. And then we have... The primary school competition winner for a 50 cent coin from 2004, the year before. As we go through, I'll just, as we pick up new commemoratives, I'll let you know what they are, and there'll be an annotation that comes up, tells you what the mintage is, and then I'll lay them down up with the commons or down at the bottom with the rares, and then the next time we see them, we will just move on. They'll just show them to you but I won't annotate them and I won't necessarily call out what they are that was a 1993 which is a low minted 50 cent piece so that's a, a pretty good pick up for me on the fly 1993's are 1 million so that's a that's a definitely a, a low a minted coin and I'll put that next to the 2021's It's a grubby Weary Dunlop and another Centenary Federation. There's a very shiny, very clean 1982. That'll be the Brisbane Commonwealth Games. There's a lot of those. Very common, and we find tons of those in our hunts usually. There's another 2021 and a 1977, another Silver Jubilee. And as we go along, uh, I've made a bit of a line there at the moment. We're th three or so rolls in. If I've got something to chat about, I'll have a bit of a chat. But otherwise, we might speed things up as we, as we go on and see how things go at the end. There's another Weary Dunlop. Another 2021. Another 77. Here we have a Millennium Year coin from 2000. We check those for a variety that's called the Incused Flag variety. And it has the middle cross of the Union, Union flag on that Australian flag, Incused, which is indented into the coin. And we look for a variety of those. I haven't found any of those yet. 
but we live in hope. There is a 1998 Bass and Flinders coin celebrating the voyage of um, George Bass and Matthew Flinders around Tasmania, and to confirm that there was indeed a, it was indeed an island and not part of the mainland. And there we have a Outback Year of the Outback coin, 50 cent piece from 2002. Very common commemorative. And there, for the first time today, we have a 2010 Celebrate What's Great, a Stray Day commemorative, 2010. Have another Millennium coin and another student design. And for the first time today, we have a International Year of the Family, 1994. A 2000 millennium coin in pretty bad order, I might say, and a 2001 and a Commonwealth Games. All right, might be quiet now and see how we go. And this, for the first time today, we have a 2005 60th anniversary of the end of World War II, the Remembrance coin from 2005. And for the first time today, we have from 1981 which celebrates the marriage of Prince Charles uh, Prince of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer And for the first time today, we have a Australia's Volunteers from 2003. And there we have for the first time today in 1970, Captain Cook celebrating the bicentenary of Captain Cook's voyages around Australia or across to Australia, up the eastern seaboard as it were. Oh, and here we have something here. This is a centenary of Federation coin, Western Australia. Two kangaroos and a swan on the shield. Very nice. Not in bad nick either. Pretty shiny. A little bit grubby, but not too many dings. So, very nice. Our first Centenary of Federation for today. And possibly a new co uh, coin for the book. I'll have to... I don't quite remember, but we'll have to have a, have a look. Let's see if it is a definitely a new coin for the book.
Uh, that is a 2019 Jody Clark. It's a coat of arms, but it is the first year that the Jody Clark effigy was used, and it is a lower minted coin. So I'll put it up with the 2021s. And there we are, on to the last roll. Now, I must make mention of this last roll because it is a roll sent to me by a subscriber. So Steve from Queensland has obviously been watching me uh, struggle, struggle, and struggle through with uh, finding the Indigenous Languages coin, which was the last coin of the last book, and it took me a long time to get that. He sent me down a coin roll, which he's obviously purchased out of a machine, which is what I do for mine, and it has an ender of a... Indigenous Languages coin. Unfortunately, it didn't get here in time in the mail for me to have this as the ultimate coin of the last uh, book, but uh, only a couple of hunts in, it's finally turned up, and I thank Steve very much. In the end, I swapped him for some $2 coins. I sent up uh, $2 coins as a swap for this roll, so let's crack this one open and see what, what other pleasures it might bring to the hunt. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. That is the round silver 50 cent piece. I would never thought that I would be grabbing any one of those. Look at that. It's fantastic. So, Steve, you've come through with flying colors. I might have to send you some more swaps. But that is a fantastic Fantastic find. 1966, the round 50 cent piece. I'll put this down so that I don't uh, lose it. The round 50 cent piece was the first 50 cent piece issued in Australia. It was uh, after the decimalization. It was highly minted, but it was also made of 80% uh, silver and 20% copper. So it was uh, at the time of its mintage, it was, it was cheap. But by the time it got into circulation and, and, and out into the public, the price of silver had shot up and it, it was actually worth more than 50 cents. And people hoarded them because of the silver content. And the, there was uh, 36 million of them made. A lot of them disappeared into the silver industry. but And a lot of people held onto them. And the reason that it looks so nice is because of its silver content. It doesn't sort of t tarnish like a, like a, a copper nickel coin would. Uh, and it, it lasted around, but that is a fantastic, fantastic find. On top of the Indigenous Languages coin that comes off the roll from 2019. Not many of those around. A bit dented, but, uh, or not dented, a bit uh, coloured, but not bad. Oh, and there's, what is that? 
That is a that is a, well, I don't know when that's come from. 1978. That's terrible. Yuck. Get rid of that. 2021. 16. Year of the family. That's excellent. So this last coin, uh, last coin roll is it for the hunt. Uh, hopefully, when, when we finish this off, oh, there is a millennium with a lot of scuff on it, not infused. And then we can have a look in the book and see if we've. Uh, we, well, no, I've definitely know that we found a new coin because the. The round fifties and piece is a new coin for the book. We've not had one of those before, even in the previous book. I uh, didn't think I'd be finding one of those around, but excellent. I've it's made my day, made my day. But I'm finished. Thank you very much. What I'm going to do now is quickly look through the mob of ruse and then come back and tell you if I found anything of any note in those, and then we'll put things in the book if we need to. Thank you. Be back in a sec. Well, I'm back again. Thank you for waiting. Uh, nothing of any particular note in the rest of the coat of arms. I've got another couple of 2021s. Obviously, we've got now to go through what we've found for this hunt. So, the plum of the hunt, there's no doubt that the plum of the hunt is the round 50 cent piece from 1966, 80% silver. We have a Centenary Federation Western Australia and another indigenous languages coin which will make it now or oh, three two that i found and, and and this one so exceptionally fantastic hunt thank you very much to steve from north queensland for swapping rolls out uh another one i did pick up was a i think i might have said it during the hunt but this is a very very clean 1981 so i'm going to put that into the book as a uh, not necessarily a placeholder, but just a very nice coin that can uh, make up sets. And then we've also got this 1993, uh, which is in pretty good nick. A uh, bit, a little bit toned, but very good nick. 1993, 1 million mintage. So that'll go into the book as well. But let's get the book out and get to that one coin that I never thought that I would get. The round 50 cent piece into the book which will now make this a complete book when I do finish it, which doesn't seem like it's going to be that long. Uh, I'll take out the Western Australian coin that we've found in the hunt, and I'll place that one in there. So now I've only uh, three Centenary of Federations to come on that, on that page, and then one more, so four Centenary of Federations, and then a couple of the older ones. Uh, and Iatsis is the only other... Mm, common well newer commemorative coin uh, and that's pretty rare so excellent thank you very much for watching uh please if you like what i do think about subscribing give me the thumbs up leave a comment if you've got a question about uh noodling in general or coins and i'll happily answer them if i know the answer but i'll be back in a couple more days to noodle more coins so i'll see you then bye